All right, hello guys, I get my VI here, and even though I'm on vacation, I'm still bringing guys some videos. So anyway, we are. I'm gonna do a my my first review actually, and uh, it's gonna be of the Xplit Game Caster, as well as the Xplit um, Stream Caster, I believe it's called. But they are both really amazing. Um, I mean, I have uh, what do you call it? I have used fraps. This is pretty much a game recorder. I've used fraps before, and I, and I was using my main uh, thing for recording a uh, PC gameplay. And then, since I'm partnered with Freedom, I got this for free for five weeks, so I tested it out. And um, I mean, it's it really is an amazing uh, replacement. In fact, it's even better. In fact, considering uh, it, like we're we're just kind of explain. And with that being said, I'm going to go through. Uh, all the features in this and then later on I will show you guys how it records and everything and after that I will show you guys the uh the actual extra parts as well like my like my final thoughts so anyway as soon as you enter a game this it's you're gonna see something come up and it says initializing expert game caster and as soon as it's initialized you will see something say press uh control tab to open up the overlay and that is pretty much the overlay. So going from uh, left to right, if you click that, it will stream to your Twitch. Um, and if you click record, it will obviously record your gameplay. Um, you can mute or unmute your mic, as well as set the volume on it. As well, you can set the you can mute or unmute the game sound, as well as set the volume in it. You can also set your webcam for a face cam or anything like that as well. You have your Twitch, uh, so if you have any comments, you can bring that up. And you know, the good thing about this is when you're recording and streaming and you press Control Tab, the overlay does not show up in your recordings at all. Your overlay does, let me repeat that, your overlay does not show up, which is amazing as well. And uh, that's actually not remember what that one is, so sorry about that. You can also add your image, uh, so for example, a watermark or something. You can also add text as well. So anyway, uh, you can live stream or also record console games if you have a capture card. So if you have your capture card, you plug, obviously plug into your uh, PS4, PS3, Xbox, whatever, and uh, you would plug into your computer, and then you can actually live stream and record. Uh, the models right now is the, the sorry the models that it's compatible with at the moment is the um, Elgato the and uh, the ever so hold on, let me click on this. So I do not remember, but I know for sure one of them is actually the Elgato capture card. So here we go, the Hapage. Hopefully I'm saying that right. The Elgato capture card, Avermedia, as well as the Avermedia Live Gamer C9 and the Ever Live Gamer Portable C8. So that's pretty much what it's what it's compatible with. At the moment, I'm pretty sure more will come come uh, soon as well so in your accounts you have your twitch which you need you obviously need to stream and your video sharing so you can easily just upload upload stuff on the fly um you also have your social networks so you can share your live stream and recordings with your friends so you have your facebook uh your twitter and as well as google plus um i don't know why i'm not I, i'm gonna sign up for those pretty soon i just didn't have enough time uh, your settings, you can change the um, the quality of your streams as well as the quality of your recording. And in your settings, you can uh, re record, sorry, you can change the frame rates, 30 F FPS or 60, as well as you can use your iGPU or DGPU to uh, record instead of using your CPU. Your microphone, you can change as well, as well as the uh, camera. Uh, whenever you are recording and you alt tab away from the game, this will uh, sorry, I believe yeah, I believe it's when you're recording or streaming. This sound will come up, and that is really helpful. Uh, you can also change it to add your own image as well, which is pretty useful. Uh, you can add your CPU load or game FPS in the wherever you want, the top left, uh, top middle, top right, and whatever as well you have your hotkeys so of course the overlay is control tab 
when you're streaming, I use just Control Shift uh, quotes and to record Control Shift backlash. You also have the benchmark status label, microphone mute, unmute, system audio, push to talk, which is really useful as well. So, for example, if you're playing a game and your microphone's muted, uh, you can press say um, Control One, something like that. And your mic will unmute and you can talk. And then when you undepress it, it will then, uh, like, it'll mute the microphone back again. You also have your camera, show and hide. Uh, you have your start annotation, which, if you use YouTube, you should know what annotations is. And you also have run ad, which is uh, only if you're a Twitch partner, I believe. Yeah, when you're a Twitch partner, you're, you're able to run ads. So these are all the recordings. Actually, I have probably what 20, 15 recordings. Just I have to play around and just to see. And this one, the top one, is the best recording I've done because I've I was able to get my. So I do have a low end PC. I mean, I have an i3 core, so playing games on it is really hard. But I was actually able to use this and the uh, while playing the game, pretty easily as well. So I'm now going to show you guys a video of it all right so this is the actual um gameplay so as you can see right now i believe i'm getting around 20 frames per second and i usually get around 40 on the without when i'm not using the actual recording program so as you can see it actually does drop down by quite uh, quite a lot but that is only because i am using a a uh, what do you call it a low-end pc I have an i3 core on this, so you shouldn't be surprised if it doesn't actually hold up the frames per second. But anyway, I mean the video recording is very, very good and I love it. Alright, so now that we're done that part, this is pretty much the broadcaster. Is really advanced, so you really have to know what you're doing. You can have up to 12 scenes. So, for example, um, you can, for your first scene, you can have the game you're playing. In the second scene, you can have like another shot or a picture, and so on. You can pretty much add anything. You can add your camera, media file, any media file. So, images, movies, uh, videos, pictures, and pretty much anything. Uh, an IP camera, the game, Skype video. Yeah, you can actually have more sources as well. You change the resolution, you can actually add more. Uh, change the frame rate, transitions when you move from scene to scene, uh, the speed of the transitions, uh, projector. You also you can also scale and scale your viewpoints as well. Uh, for your broadcast, that's obviously to broadcast your gameplay. Announce obviously it's, if you have it connected to Twitter or something you can announce when you're about to stream. Uh, active activity delay server is useful. So for example, when you're playing and uh, you want to be strategic, you can delay the stream. So if people are watching a stream, they they are delayed, so they don't actually know exactly. So they're behind. If you know what I mean, it's not really explained, but if you if you understand it, it's really easy. You have your general settings here. So you see disable arrow theme, the resolutions, hotkeys, profile, as you can see, and my country is not Cameroon, it's Canada. I'm gonna apply that. that yeah, my country is not Cameroon. But anyway, uh, so where your recordings are saved, your audio as well. So I'm just click OK. Cameroon. But anyway, you can move your mic again and everything else. So uh, now I'm just going to give you guys my final review. Alright, so look guys, sorry about the stuff in the background, it's just the cards because I'm pretty much on like a balcony type of place at the moment uh, recording this. So anyway, um, now that I showed you guys basically what, how, how it works, I'm actually going to go in depth and show you guys how you would use it. So. You click on whatever scene you want. You can actually name the scene. So I can name this game if I wanted to. I can go over here, name it like screenshot or whatever. So for example, I could add media file. 
And here is the all the media files I have. So let's see if I wanted to add this. I'll click open. This will come up and I would be able to scale it to the whatever size. Let's say if I want to go to uh, 3. I click uh, add media file again. Channel art. Say I want to use that. That comes up and I rescale it to whatever size I really want it to be. You can also move it around as well. So that's true. And as you see, as you switch, you can change you can change the transitions. So say if I want it to collapse. As you can see, that's what it would change like. But I'm usually using fade anyway because uh, fade is usually the best one for me. So to, what else? You can also add uh, videos as well. You can add pretty much anything. You can add, let's see, add IP camera. So, for example, uh, I don't know what the IP camera is actually used for, but I'm pretty sure if, for example, if you have like a camera on your uh, that's connected to your internet, you can use that as well. And uh, what else you can also, if I go down, let's see, um, what do you call it, projector? Here we go. So of course you can scale it to whatever you want. Um, in the last episode, sorry, in the last part I had it on 80%, and I'll have it on 70 as well. Um, so, so to add a game, let me. You pretty much launch your game, and then you click on let's say, where is it? Here you go, screen region. So say if I just want to add that, as you can see, I can add the actual screen I'm on and the broadcaster will not be in the way so this would be useful so let's see if I can launch a quick game as you see nothing is in the way it's only the Google Chrome it's all so as you see this this part does not actually come up on the screen as you can see it just looks like my mouse isn't moving anything so let me test this out again Okay, by the way, you guys won't, because the recorder I'm using to record my screen does not show up. So when I launch the game, you guys will not see it. Let's go here. So just hold on for a second. Alright, so I'm about to launch the game so you guys probably won't be able to see anything, you probably only hear my voice. But I'm about to show you guys how this would actually work. So. Okay, so I have the game in the background. So, as you see, this is the broadcasting. And this is Chrome EXE process. So let's go to screen 4. Click File. Add a uh, screen region. And just click on that. There we go. As you can see, Racer showed up on the screen. So did this. Let's get rid of this. We don't actually need that anymore. I actually believe I clicked the wrong thing. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, so that's the window. It's actually best to use this game in windowed mode as well. So I don't even know if it's going to work because I don't have a window mode. But as you can see, it says screen window, Racer, and all. So that's the actual game that's going to be playing. So I can open this. And I can click on that, for example. Uh, free. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. The Alt tab. So as you can see, I just Alt tabbed away from that. And that's pretty much it. You can switch to your scenes. So when you're streaming, you can switch scenes as well. It's really useful. It really is a useful thing. Um, so for example, if I want to click file, add game, here we go, so I'll click on that, and as you can see, this is, oh, I didn't mean to do that, let me delete that, I don't just send an overlay, let me take the screen window off, and there you go, as you can see, I just added the game to it, as you can see. I'm streaming I can switch scenes so you guys will see different scenes as I'm streaming it's really useful and I love it as well 
Alright, so we're on to the last part now. And sorry about my voice, guys. I'm a bit sick. And uh, anyway, I'm in Vegas as well. So let's go through the pros and cons. So we're going to start off with the pros, actually. So the first amazing thing is that you can stream direct. You can uh, stream to uh, Twitch using the actual broadcaster. As well as uh, upload direct to YouTube. Um, there's a lot of customization and settings in the actual program. I mean, the way you can change the uh, the actual resolution. If, if you use your DGPU or CPU for recording, um, the codec, everything. Um, the overlay, which has key features, it pretty much has everything that you actually need to uh, record. And it also does not show up in your recording, which is very useful as well. Um, you can see it, like I already said, you can use a CPU or GPU to record, which may or may not affect your game in any way. Um, you can also use your, if you have a capture card, you can use it to record or stream your console gameplay as well. Which, mind you, is really useful as well. Um, the broadcaster also has many, uh, many great features, and it's pretty much for professionals. I mean, the way how you have so many different scenes and everything, it really is... Uh, top-notch now the only thing that does not actually work is that you cannot uh, record flash or web games so for Google Chrome although the broadcaster you are actually able to stream the web games but for the gamecaster as far as far as I am concerned you cannot actually record them um, also the gamecaster does not work with all games uh, for example, um, Mintel Minus 2, it does not work, and you pretty much need a uh, a high-end PC to record with high graphics, with the highest graphics, or your frame rate will drop, I can assure you that. Um, also, it is missing a, um, some other top game capture cards as well, which I'm pretty sure they will come up with a patch to fix that. But that's pretty much my uh, review, guys. Um, as I said, I would probably give this a, what, 9 out of 10 overall, I would say. I mean, it really is very useful, and I love it. You guys would love it. Um, don't forget to join Freedom so you can get it for free for um, five weeks. And that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.